Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Um, well, our channel, this is Mama Kay's Cool Kids, I'm Mama Kay. But this is also, I've had a massive revamp of our blog. I'm now adding things in there for mums and women, wives, homeschool mums, just everything that I would like to encourage women with and share my journey and show the things that I do and also get support from other mums and other women. So today I would like to show you my, this is a wall binder. Now this is, I made this probably two years ago, yeah about two years ago. Um, and I haven't used it for a while because I had put it on the shelf and I go through periods where I stick to folders, then I stick to these and notebooks and journals and I'm always changing it up with my prayer life and my Bible study life. Now that's not to say that I'm always doing something. Uh, there are times when I get complacent and I'm not doing anything. So please don't get me wrong that I think I'm this holier than thou mama who always has it under control. Lots of prayer, lots of Bible study, da da. Because we all know how much we struggle um, with prayer and Bible study. It just is something. But we also know if we don't do it, we're going to struggle more. So today I just want to show my wall binder. Now I got this from Webster's Pages. I bought this online. I think it was about $30. So these are amazing. So it has a rubber band over here. So you take the rubber band off and voila you have all this space for these notebooks now these are held in by rubber bands so the same rubber band that that, that keeps it all together on the front is what the books are hooked on so there you go so what i have is in the front you've got this section here and then you also have um, a, I'll be done soon, section in there for some papers and these here for whatever you want. Um, and there is also one at the back, so that's an actual pocket and then a pocket in the top and then you also have a pen holder here, which I don't have a pen in because I'm only just starting to use it again. So what I have in here uh, all these notebooks. Now I got these large notebooks. Um, I got that one and this one I got from the actual Webster's Pages website. website. So this one I have in here is the Bible study journal. So I notice I've got notes in here about, um, what is it, Jeremiah, Daniel, Ezekiel, um, Judges, Ruth, like the exile, Old Testament. So that's like when I'm going in-depth Bible study, when I'm trying to find some things out. That's what I used to put in here. And I will be again. And then I've got these ones. So this one has one of my favorite verses on here, Proverbs 31, 25, um, which you'll see throughout the blog and the things that I have will be sharing. So these ones I got from Korong. So that's um, a Christian bookshop here in Australia. So they had like that one and this one that all you do be done in love. And then also this one just has notebook on the front with some pictures. But all three of them have scripture down the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Yes. So they all have different scriptures down the bottom as reminders. So I got that, that was like three for seven or three for ten or something like that. Um, so then this next one is, this one is finances. Um, and just some, some more, I think that sermon notes I had in there, like finances and sermon notes on finances. Uh, then this one was an extra one. This one is the book of James. So that's an actual, just a whole book topical study that I started with a minist women's ministry that I was um, a part of in our old church. Um, so then that's the end of those. And this one is one of my favourites. I love Bible journaling. And this is what I did before I actually got a um, 
journaling bible so this is scripture writing this one is my scripture writing one and I would do things like this where I would just get pictures and then do certain things with textures, pencils, coloured pens, just being creative and I love printing off things from the internet so this one is all about peace they are all scriptures on peace and then this one is all about fear and anxiety and trusting the Lord um, and then yeah there's some other things so just yeah scripture writing which is my favorite now I also have this other book that I did when I was part of another that same church um, at Craigmore we did James was one that we were doing we also did Proverbs so it was a chapter for um, each day in the month 30 days 31 days obviously so this was July Proverbs challenge 2017 so I bought this from Officeworks and I just decorated it it is just a plain book so you'll see it's just a plain notebook like that with kind of it's not thin paper it's hard sheets and then what I did is picked out my favorite verses and printed off some pictures for each chapter so that's chapter one then chapter two and then it goes all the way along for every single chapter so this was my favorite for scripture this is what I love doing this gets me really to I don't know bring out my creative side which funnily enough I was never artsy craftsy or creative until I became a Christian so the creator brought out my creativeness, my creativity, creativeness. Um, so this one I just focused, Proverbs 14.1, another one of my favourite verses. And then I just typed up some things and yeah, so that goes all the way along. And then I once I finished that and I just kept going, um, so I've done some other writing challenges in here. And then this one, when I was going through the tough time in my marriage before I actually made the decision to leave my husband, um, I did this one which was waiting on God um, because there was a lot of things that were going on which you'll find out soon enough. Um, and then, yeah, just be still, trust in the Lord's timing and all that kind of stuff. And then, yeah, so got some more space in there that I can do. So back to the war binder. So this is my prayer kind of journal. So then the next one is prayers for Raymond. That's prayers for my husband and also my kids. So I'll put my kids at the back. This one is a gratitude journal. So and then I've just stuck a thankfulness picture in there. So this is writing down things that I'm thankful for. And then the last one I got this from also Kurong Bookshop, which is my prayer notes. So I've just stuck a, I don't know if you can see that, but it says, Our prayers may be awkward, our attempts may be feeble, but since the power of prayer is in the one who hears it and not in the one who says it, our prayers do make a difference. Max Licardo. So this one has, I'll just go to a page that doesn't have any personal info. So this one has the date, prayer requests, personal prayers, uh, what's that, I'm trying to read back, backwards, God's answers to my prayers and praising God. So that's that. So um, yeah, it's a great tool to be creative so that because I struggle with the fact of just opening my Bible and reading my Bible. I struggle with the fact of just sitting there and praying. I have to have something where I can write things down or have a prayer journal or write my prayers out and record things so that I can be reminded of how far I've come. Like I have this other notebook here, um, the Charles Stanley Principles Journal. Don't mind kids drawing on it. So this has beautiful design inside and it has principles for life and what it is is 
life principle 30 principles so life principle one is um where is it our intimacy with god his highest priority for our lives determines the impact of our lives so then it has some scriptures up the top that you write about and then there's also some questions down the bottom then we have number two number three and it goes all the way along then we have at the back of the book there are some promises and scriptures that you can look up um, but then we have this so it's a prayer journal so or prayer record so you've got the date and the prayer and how God answers the prayers and I've got I was looking at this the other day actually and I'm looking at prayers from August 2018 it, we are now October 2019 so this is last year and there are prayers in there of just after I left my husband because of emotional psychological and mental abuse and verbal abuse and I had been praying for him and praying for me about the freedom from bitterness and resentment and unforgiveness and so a year later I can look back on that and go wow because we are now reconciling God has worked a massive miracle in my husband and he has actually I thought it was over well and truly completely over because he was so prideful he was so stubborn there were just things that he was doing and he thought there were no problem with now the Lord has worked a miracle because I had actually left him and moved away with my kids and you know everything anyway I'm getting into that that is for another video but the point is because I recorded my prayer a year ago I can look back and go wow that is and then I can write down how God answered my prayer so that's why I love prayer journals, I love scripture writing, I love all of this kind of stuff. So, and now my latest thing, which is my first journaling Bible, is this one, it's a hardcover cloth cover. I got this on christianbook.com. Um, I'll try and find it and put the link below. I'll, I'll find all of these things and put the link below. Um, so this one is, I've only just started, but these are the ones that have the columns in the side. I'll show you a blank. Okay, so there's that one. Clothed with strength and dignity, one of my favorite verses. So I'll show you a blank. So there's the blank. So there's the blank blank that has just the lines. And then you have other pages that have, if I can find them, questions. So we've got questions that can prompt you in your Bible study. So, and that's what I like. I like a lot of prompting. I like answering questions. I like digging deeper. And so, yeah, that's what I enjoy doing in my personal Bible study time with the Lord. So this is mainly about, I'm going on to Bible study. This is about the war binder, the prayer journal. So, yeah, contact me if you'd like any information. Um, now the blog is still, I'm still working on the blog. It will be launched shortly and I will have things about homeschooling slash unschooling, which is what we do. I say it as I am too lazy to do complete structured homeschooling and I'm too much of a control freak to do complete unschooling. So in saying that, here comes my toddler, so I've got to go. Anyway, be encouraged. Stick to your calling, ladies. And remember, Jesus loves you and God has you right where he wants you. Bye.